What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about something that's considered taboo but extremely powerful. Mind control. Now I know what you're thinking, is this some kind of dark magic? No, it's not. It's just understanding human psychology and using it to your advantage. I'm not going to teach you how to hypnotize people or make them do your bidding against their will. What I'm going to show you are five techniques to influence people's decisions and get what you want without being manipulative or deceitful. These techniques are based on science, psychology and human behavior. So, let's get started. Technique number one, the power of framing. Framing is the way you present information to someone. The same information can be presented in different ways and the way you frame it can completely change someone's perception. For example, if you're trying to sell a product, instead of saying this product is 90s effective, you could say this product has a 10s failure rate. It's the same information, but the way you frame it changes the way people perceive it. People are more likely to buy something that's 90s effective than something that has a 10 failure rate. Technique number two, the scarcity principle. This is a fundamental principle of human behavior. When people think something is scarce, they want it more. That's why limited time offers, exclusive deals and exclusive clubs work so well. People are wired to want what they can't have. So, if you're trying to sell something, create a sense of urgency. Create a limited time offer or make people feel like they're part of an exclusive group. Technique number three, the power of social proof. People are more likely to do something if they see other people doing it. That's why testimonials, reviews, and social media influencers work so well. If you're trying to convince someone to do something, show them that other people are doing it too. It's a powerful way to build trust and credibility. Technique number four, the foot in the door technique. This is a classic technique used by salespeople and marketers. It's simple. You ask someone for a small favor and then you ask for a bigger favor. People are more likely to say yes to a bigger favor if they've already said yes to a smaller one. It's a powerful way to build momentum and get what you want. Technique number five, the door in the face technique. This is the opposite of the foot in the technique. You ask someone for a huge favor and then you ask for a smaller favor. People are more likely to say yes to a smaller favor if they've already said no to a bigger one. It's a powerful way to get what you want by making the smaller favor seem reasonable by comparison. So, there you have it guys. These five techniques can help you influence people's decisions and get what you want without being manipulative or deceitful. Remember, it's all about understanding human psychology and using it to your advantage. Don't use these techniques to manipulate or deceive people. Use them to build trust, credibility, and strong relationships. And always keep in mind, with great power comes great responsibility. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.